in this problem we have to solve the limit for cos x minus 1 cos x minus e x upon x n for this one we will use the taylor series expansion for cos x and e x as the taylor series for e x is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on and the expansion for cos x is cos x is equal to 1 minus x square upon 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial and so on. So let's solve this problem. So it is limit x approaches to 0. Now I am replacing the cos x with its series which is minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial and so on minus 1. Then again I am replacing the cos x with its series which is 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial plus so on minus now the e x series is 1 x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus x 4 by 4 factorial and so on upon xn. Now further limit x approaches to 0. Now you can see this 1 will be cancelled out with this minus 1 and from here this 1 will be cancelled out when I open this bracket and all the terms for e x expansion will be negative. So this minus 1 will be cancelled out with plus 1 and all the positive term from the cos x expansion will be cancelled out with the negative expansion for like this okay so this will turn out as minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial plus so on and from here it is minus x minus x square by 2 factorial into 2 because this x square upon 2 factorial negative and this negative will be positive right then minus x cube by 3 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial and there will be minus x5 by 5 factorial as well and so on upon x raised to power n now limit x approaches to 0. Now I am taking x square common from this bracket and x common from this bracket. So the total will become x cube and it will become minus 1 upon 2 factorial plus x square by 4 factorial minus x 4 by 6 factorial and so on. And from here it will be minus 1 minus 2 times x by 2 factorial minus x square by 3 factorial and so on. And here it is x raised to power n. Now try to understand to solve this limit when I uh, try to apply the limit then the uh, this bracket this particular bracket it will be like minus 1 by 2 and all the terms will be 0 and same here in this bracket it is minus 1 and after that all the terms will be 0. So that means uh, this bracket and this bracket is fine for the limit to exist but the x raised to power n and x cube is now the factor which will decide whether the limit will exist or not. So the limit will exist if this x from the denominator will be cancelled out from the numerator side right so to cancel this x n from the denominator side so what we can say if n is 3 then it will become x cube and this x cube will be cancelled out right so we can say that n should be 3 for limit to exist so this is the answer for this question so the answer will be C which says n is equal to 3.